Hello guys, um, we want to talk briefly about Plato's conception of justice after he uh, succeeded in dismantling the views of um, his um, three other friends uh, who tried to shed their views on the idea of justice. For Plato, we lived in a state of nature. When we talk about the state of nature, we are talking about the conditions in which human beings lived when government had not been formed. And within that state of nature, we were insatiable. Our wants and needs were um, insatiable and we are all not self-sufficing. And so, um, even though we had different things, different vocations and different things we could do, we had to come together to surmount the challenges of the state of nature by creating a certain battle arrangement between us i.e. if I have cassava and I'm expert in growing cassava and then you are expert in growing tomato for instance and I need some of your tomato what we did was just for me to come to you give you a portion of my cassava in exchange of a portion of your tomato if I'm looking for salt I go to the one who has salt but like cassava and when we enter into that kind of butter arrangement just to be able to attempt to meet um, our needs so Plato argues that within the, uh, within the state, or in trying to surmount the state of nature, um, we get into a situation where the society in which we find ourselves would always be made up of people who produce one thing or the other. So he said within the community, there are a people he referred to as producers. That is, we the ordinary people who do different things. So once there are producers then there must always be the, uh, some people who would guard the wealth that have been produced once there are producers we should have a group of uh, of the people within um, the society who would guard and protect the wealth that the producers have produced so if i'm producing cassava you are producing plantain he is producing banana, another person is producing tomato, another person is producing salt and all that. We should have a group of people who would protect the wealth of the society. He refers to these group of people as the guardians, soldiers or the guardians. Now, their work is to guard the wealth of the nation. So within a society, there should be a group of people he refers to as producers, and then there should be those who guard the wealth that has been produced, referred to as guardians. Now, when the producers are producing, and then when the guardians are guarding the wealth that have been um, produced, there should be one person he refers to as the philosopher king. It's a philosopher king who must then take charge of the art of governance. So, he argues that for justice to be in the body politic or for justice to be in society, there should be specialization and division of labor so that each and every one within the, a, a group focuses on his work. So producers can only produce, they cannot guard or they must not guard. Guardians or soldiers cannot be producers. They must only guard the wealth of the nation. Then philosopher king must be the only one who must guard, who, who must sorry, govern. It means soldiers cannot usurp their functions or they must not overthrow whoever is governing to want to govern. Producers must remain as producers. That is when there is, according to Plato, justice within the state. Producers, you have no business governing. You can't govern. Soldiers, you have no business governing. You can't govern. Remain with your core mandate and let the philosopher king alone govern. Why does he make the uh, case for philosopher king alone to govern? He believes that, you see, in a world of relativities or in the world system in which we live in, everything is relative. There is nothing absolute. But Plato believes in something he refers to as virtu. V-I-R-T-U. Uh, virtu. And it is about what you call, he refers to as the absolute truth. In the world of relativities, Plato believes that there is what he refers to as absolute truth. 
So he said, absolute truth exists. Absolute truth can be found. Not all can find absolute truth. Governance must be left to the hands or into the hands of only those who can find absolute truth. So I'm just saying, it's just like picking a needle and then plucking or breaking or taking off the head of that needle and throwing it into a lecture hall of about thousand students and then asking them to look for their needle. He's saying that we can all search for that needle. Not all of us will be able to find that needle, but one person will be able to find that needle. That's what he refers to as absolute truth existing. Absolute truth can be found, and the fact that absolute truth can be found not by all of us, but somebody can find it. And so we should leave governance into the hands of the only person, the one and only person who can find absolute truth. And for him, that's a philosopher king. And so to bring justice within the state, there should always be producers, and they must. The idea that when there is time for elections, anybody gets up and wants to go and contest for election is frowned upon by Plato. He said, if you are a producer, remain a producer. You cannot just um, get up and say, I want to go and come because you cannot find the absolute truth. The standards are high in our part of the world. Anybody gets up and says, once you have money, you want to go contest election. Plato said, no. You may have the resources, you may have money, but you don't build, you, you, you don't build or have what it takes to be able to find the absolute truth. So soldiers must not, so he found some military takeovers and military intervention. If you are a soldier, you don't have the absolute truth. So remain as a guardian of the wealth of the nation and let those who can find the absolute truth, you know, govern. Plato elaborate, you no, know, has an elaborate arrangement of what would the philosopher can have to go through after find after being the one who finds the absolute absolute truth the kind of arrangement or educational curricula he has to go through before he can be ripe to govern we will discuss that kind of um, educational curricula and arrangement and then also talk about the, the conditions of service functions and sometimes the, even the limitations of of the idea of the philosopher king but basically this is the platonic conception of justice after he had um, um, critiqued the other people's definition, you know, Cephalos, Polymachus, and Chrismachus definition on justice. I mean, this is what he believes in the justice. There is justice within the state when people are sticking to their core functions and mandates and they are not crisscrossing. So if you're a producer, remain a producer. If you're a guardian, remain a guardian. Governance of a developing country our governance to play to is too serious a business to be left into the hands of anybody. It's not, it's not a matter of any. That's why we are not developing. Anybody gets and says, I want to contest for the presidency. You do not have what it takes to be president. Absolute truth exists. Absolute truth can be found. Not all can find absolute truth. Leave governance to the one person who can find absolute truth. I'll continue by looking at the educational curricula and then also the conditions of service, the functions and limitations of the philosopher. Can, um, thank you.